This is definitely not how you're supposed to use this stand. This tripod. Oops. I hope we don't have a tumble. How are you all? What's up? It's been a while. I have a bunch of new jewelry pieces that I want to show you today. I kind of like wait to film these until I have enough that like warrants a video and kind of like enough to talk about, which is why it goes like a month or more in between these videos. But in the meantime, I should just film other things. So there's a wild, crazy thought. But yeah, I have a couple new pieces that I'm excited to show you all today. Um, rings, bracelets, and necklaces, I think. The only thing that's not is earrings because I just don't really like I have the set that I wear in my ears always and I just never really take those out. But everything else is new. Oh, and watches. I have two new watches to show you today. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a good one. I feel like we have like a lot of new pieces to cover. So I think I'm going to go kind of like category by category. Did you guys just hear my stomach gurgle? I think I'm going to go like category by category and then do it that way like I usually do. So I think I only have one new necklace to show you. So I'll start with that. It's from a vintage seller that I'm obsessed with on Instagram. Her name is Nova Lita, Nova Lita Vintage. I think that's her Instagram handle. I can put it down below. Um, but it's this beaded chain and it basically is just like all these fun bead colors with solid gold clasps, which I really like. So the solid gold clasp is nice because usually that's the thing that tarnishes on me for like a beaded necklace is the clasp. Um, and so this won't tarnish which, tarnish, which is great. You can wear it in the water. I just feel like it's so summery. And I got the version that has the larger clasp so that I can wear it facing down and stick charms on it, which I love. She had two versions. One was like a more kind of standard lobster clasp and then one was this. I love that I can add charms to it. Like this is the charm that Ben got me for Christmas. It's like a little C pave diamond charm from Missouri and you can hang them on this larger clasp and wear it facing down, which I think is really pretty. So this is kind of my like new necklace stack for the summer. I have that long Figaro chain with the extender that I've showed you all in past videos. I have this new beaded chain. I have my baby lock dupe from Etsy with my evil eye necklace that I wear all the time. And then I have my vintage braided chain with my bee charm, also from Etsy. So that's like my summer necklace stack, which I'm obsessed with. And because they're all different like weights and textures, they don't really tangle. I've found they tangle a little bit while I sleep, but once I untangle them for the morning, they're kind of fine for the rest of the day. That's it for the necklaces. The only one new necklace, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I've worn it every single day since I got it. I love her. There was one that was a necklace that became bracelets and I'll explain. So you guys know I'm like a solid gold girl. I love my solid gold. That being said, I've never tried Alexa Lee jewelry and everybody loves like their beaded necklaces and beaded bracelets. And so I wanted to try something just to see like how long it lasted and if it was like, you know, I don't know if it would withstand me wearing it to the gym, in the shower, etc. I think they're gold plated silver. So, I'm curious to see how it lasts. I got a necklace and I can like insert a picture of what the original necklace that I got was. What I didn't realize is that it would basically like pinch and rip out like the baby hairs on the back of my neck because of the beads. Like it would like tangle in there and then rip. And it was so uncomfortable that I ended up doing a little bit of like craftsmanship and I turned it into two bracelets. So I basically cut the, cut the elastic, retied it and made two bracelets out of it. And honestly, I love them. Like they're very comfortable, they're stretchy because they're on elastic. I just wear them on my right wrist. They're super comfy. Um, so far, I haven't noticed any tarnishing or any like damage to the beads. So, so far, so good. Um, they're pretty simple. Just kind of like, I like that they're like mixed sizes though. Like they're all different ball sizes, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I like them a lot. So far, so good. So that's kind of a new bracelet. It was a necklace, now I'm putting it in the bracelet category. Similar vibe, I can't remember if I've talked about these or not. These are also gold beaded bracelets, but they are solid gold. They're 10 karat gold, they're hollow, 
which means they do dent. Like some of them have a couple dents in them already, which is, I didn't really think about that. So something to think about if you do get solid gold bead bracelets, if they're hollow, depending on how thick like the shell is, they will dent. Um, but I love them. They're a little bit big. All of my bracelets on this wrist are like probably a solid inch too big, but I kind of like them because they dangle a little bit. And I think it, I can show off my tattoo there. Like it's kind of, it works, but I got these the same width, I think like seven inches or something as the rest of these so that they would all like stack together. So those are these ones. And then I have these ones on the opposite wrist just to kind of balance it out a little bit. I don't know if anybody else is like this. I'm right-handed and I use a mouse and stuff at work and I hate having bracelets and stuff on my right wrist because it makes it hard for me to like use my mouse. So I'm very picky about what I wear on my right wrist, but on my left wrist, I'll like put everything on. And these I've found are like the most comfortable to wear while I work every day. So those are the new bracelets. Nothing super big, no big updates there. I did get some watches though. And a couple of you guys spotted these in my last video, which, well, you spotted one of them in my last video. And it's this one that I got from Amazon. This is actually a funny story. I was out with my friend and I've never really like worn a watch. I had an Apple watch for a while. I got rid of it. And I've never really like worn a, like a more elegant watch, but I want to wear them. I want to get into them. And my friend, we were out like having drinks. And I literally was like, I'm so obsessed with your watch. And after like the second margarita, I think I just like went on Amazon and bought it, but it's gold plated as well. It's not like, I don't wear it in the shower. I don't wear it in the water because I don't think it would last, but day to day it works really well. And it's this one from Timex. You can literally get them on Amazon. I think you can get them at like TJ Maxx and stuff. Like they have them everywhere. It's stretchy. So it just goes over your wrists like that. And I find that it stacks really well with the gold bracelets that I wear on this wrist. That's kind of like one of the ways that I wear it. Sometimes I'll just wear it by itself. But I think it just adds like a little bit of texture and a little bit of something on this wrist that I really like. I like that it's all gold. Um, it's nice like entry level watch for people like me that are like not watch people quite yet, but I want to be a watch person. I feel like this is a great way to get into it. And so far it's been holding up great. You come, it comes, you just like set the time and it works fine. Um, this other watch was actually a very recent gift for my one year wedding anniversary. My husband knows how much I am obsessed with vintage things. So he went online, found a seller on Etsy and got me this vintage Gucci watch. It's made in like 1994. It has a gold face and gold hardware and then a black leather strap, which I love because the only other watch that I have is that gold one and I don't have any leather watches. So I'm obsessed. I can't decide if I like how it looks with bracelets or by itself. This is what it looks like kind of by itself. It fits perfectly. Like it fits so well. It's super comfortable. It's definitely like thin and dainty, but I think it adds like a little bit of like edge to the outfit. And with the gold bracelets, I also think it works. Like it's just kind of a different look. So I feel like I've been flipping that in and out with like with and without the gold bracelets um, and kind of playing around and experimenting with it. We have to get the battery replaced. It doesn't tell time right now, but honestly, I don't care. It still looks really good. So and I think that's it for bracelets. That leaves rings, which you guys know, I love my rings. So I have a couple new rings to show you. A couple are vintage, a couple are from new jewelers that I've never shopped from before. Um, and I'm kind of obsessed with them. So I'm gonna show you them solo and stacked. The first one, I'll show you the vintage ones first. The first one is a vintage cigar band. I got it because it matches my husband's wedding band. He has pretty much the exact same style for his wedding bands. And I just think it's so like minimal and classic. It's honestly so comfortable to wear. It's not hollow. Um, and I'll put the vintage reseller that I got it from in the description box, but it's very comfortable. I want to say it's about like six millimeters tall. So it's kind of thick. It's like a medium width cigar band. I've literally just been wearing it by itself as my wedding band. And then it also looks so pretty stacked with my engagement ring. I feel like this is kind of becoming a style, like a sick, thick cigar band. And then like a daintier solitaire. My ring is so dirty. I am sorry. I need to clean it. But I feel like that just looks so cool. Or I can also wear it with that other vintage band 
This one that I've talked about in a million of my videos that I've also kind of been wearing as one of my wedding bands, it stacks really well with this for a more like chunky modern look. So I feel like that's kind of cool too. Like that's kind of how I've been wearing it or today, like I've worn it like that today. It kind of just depends. Like, and then it's fun because I have like a chunky pinky ring. So that whole look together is like very chunky, which I like. It just, I don't know, I like switching up my wedding stack. I feel like the first year or maybe the first six months that we were married, I like never touched my wedding stack and I wore it exactly how it was when we got married. And then I was like, oh, this is fun. I can like change things out. <laughs> I can have fun with it depending on the mood that I'm in. So now I kind of switch up my wedding stack like every few days. Um, and that brings me to my next ring, which is worn next to my wedding stack. And it's this snake one. It's a solid gold snake. It has two ruby eyes and it basically just wraps around itself. You guys know if you watched my like 2023 jewelry wish list, wish list, wish list, 2023 jewelry wish list, how much I've been wanting a snake ring. And I have this one from Martellato that I'm like obsessed with and still definitely want to get one day. They're beautiful. This is from New Top Jewelry. And New Top Jewelry is like all the rage in the jewelry world. I feel like it's all over TikTok all over YouTube and I had to go. I live so close to New York City. So I was like, okay, next time I'm there, I'm just gonna stop in. And she sells everything by the weight. So she just weighs the ring and then sells it to you. I think this was literally a hundred dollars because it's pretty thin and not very heavy, which is nice. I feel like she's, she's very well priced. She has a giant range of like rings, bracelets, chains, charms, earrings, like everything you could need. And I'm just obsessed with it. It like fulfills my need for like a very cool snake ring at a very affordable price until I can get my hands. I feel like I'm gonna be one of those people that has a collection of like 15 snake rings one day. Cause I just think they're so cool. I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with like animal rings, like jaguar heads or like, you know, like the Panthera de Cartier, like that whole line I'm just obsessed with. So, I feel like I'll be one of those people who has like an animal ring collection. But for now, this is kind of what I'm rocking on my, my wedding stack today at least. I rotate it out with my engagement ring and my wedding bands. But this is kind of the left hand stack that we've got right now. On the right hand, I have two new rings to show you. One of them is from Norm Jewels. And I was like Googling around and found Norm Jewels. They are very, very affordable for solid gold. Like very affordable. Um, they have a mix of pieces with cubic zirconia and with diamonds. So depending on what you prefer, I know there are like, some people believe like it's not worth buying solid gold if you're just going to put cubic zirconia in it. I kind of go back and forth. I think it depends on the piece and it depends on like how much you want to spend and what's comfortable for you. Like it's not feasible for everybody to buy diamonds. So I think it's a nice option for people that want to wear their jewelry every single day and don't want to buy diamonds. I don't have a problem with it. So this ring is from Norm, and it's kind of a dupe of that Majuri ring, like the Pave Majuri ring that everybody has, but I think this was literally $120. It's cubic zirconia, not diamonds. I think it was $120 compared to Majuri's, which is like $800, and I'm obsessed with it. Like I think it adds like such a nice sparkle to the hand, and it just like is so dainty. I got it. This is probably my biggest finger. So this... It can fit this finger, it can fit on any of my thumbs, which I like. So I kind of stack it on different hands, but lately I've been wearing it on my right hand and I stack it with my dome ring that I always wear on my right pointer finger. Um, together, I feel like they look really pretty. They kind of almost blend together and look like one larger ring, which I think is cool. So that's been my like right pointer stack and I love it. I have like five things in my cart from Norm Jewels right now that I'm just waiting to pull trigger on. Um, and then on my middle finger, I've been wearing my classic buckle ring that I'm obsessed with. I feel like it's a lot of like bling and sparkle, which I like. And then on my pinky, I have my newest edition. I got her just the other day from Jennifer Miller Jewelry. I've never shopped Jennifer Miller Jewelry. Also very affordable. I think she has some cubic zirconia pieces, a lot of diamond and a lot of like solid gold. So many earring options. Like I was blown away by all the hoops and studs. I could have gone and just like redone my whole ear stack, but I ended up getting this ring and it's a chain, solid gold chain. And then the links that connect the chain are Pave diamonds. So it's diamonds here, diamonds here, diamonds here that connect the chain. And I think it's so pretty. I got it to fit my right pinky because I thought it was kind of like a cute addition to the right hand stack. 
I tend to always buy rings for my left hand and then my right hand I have like less rings for. So I've been trying to focus on that recently. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. I'll pop it in the website or the um, description box below, but I'm obsessed with her. I'm like so glad I stumbled. I was like shopping in Florida and found one of her actual stores and was like, how have I never heard of this person? And now I am obsessed. I follow her on Instagram and I'm obsessed with all their jewelry. So 10 out of 10, but I think that's literally everything. I think that's all of my new pieces, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I think that's it. Just to double check. But yeah, that's it. Those are my new pieces. Thank you guys for watching. As always, drop questions and comments below and I can get back to you. Um, and I will see you soon. I really wanna try to make more videos that aren't all about jewelry, but I feel like it's just what makes me so happy. So it's hard for me not to talk about it, but I will talk to you guys soon. We could talk about things that aren't related to jewelry. <laughs> but I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.